Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here we've got some portioned chicken thigh meat. We've got some beef. And we've got a pork roast here. I'm going to cut in half because we don't need all of it. We'll show you exactly what all you have to do to make these portions. Just cut nice big pieces because we're going for some cube chunks. See, good portions like this because the meat always shrinks down. This is perfect just what you want. Here's our vegetables and we'll just cut all these portobello mushrooms right in half. Our peppers we'll just chop off the ends and right in half. These little ones we'll just keep whole. Now the onions we need big portions too so we just do them in half and then do them in quarters or thirds depending on the size of the onion. The zucchini straight down the center. Just good cube sized pieces about the same size of the meat. And then where it gets big we just do it in half and again chop the same size as the meat. Here I've got some fresh basil and flat leaf parsley break off the basil leaves, chop that up real nice and fine, and the same with the parsley. A little trick with these, if you just roll it up in a little ball like this, it's a lot easier to manage and cut up. Just work it back and forth till it's real fine. And here's our mesquite marinade. We'll be using this for the pork. And this teriyaki for the beef and chicken. Now of course you don't want to cross contaminate so we'll be doing separate bowls for each one of these. Very important. Now we also need a marinade for the vegetables. This often gets skipped with shish kebabs, but if you want flavor throughout the whole thing, you're going to want to do this as well. And we're starting with this nice fine chopped garlic. Then we're going to use some olive oil and take the garlic right to it. And now we're going to dump in some salt, some Italian seasoning, which is dried basil, majorum, sage, rosemary, and thyme. But it doesn't have oregano, and it doesn't have these fresh herbs we've chopped up either, so we'll be adding that as well. And once you give it a nice good stir, it should look like this. Now, if you're using an indoor grill, here's a little trick. This liquid smoke will bring that nice smoky barbecue flavor. And I'm using hickory smoke because that's the taste I want in my shish kebabs. And we'll add that to every one of these marinades to ensure that they still get that smoky flavor that you like so much from an outdoor grill. Otherwise, just use an outdoor grill. Here we're adding the chicken to the teriyaki the beef to the teriyaki, and these marinades only take about 20 minutes. Now the pork to the mesquite, and I added ketchup and honey to this as well. And of course here's our marinade for the vegetables. And I'm telling you, this marinade for the vegetables will really help set these shish kebabs off. It brings a real nice balance to the meat. Nice seasoning makes it tender and succulent so it doesn't dry out. Now let's start our shish kebabs. 
beautiful thing about these is you can stack them any way you want. There's the beef. There's the chicken. And here's the pork. And just for fun, we might as well do a vegetable. And there's our lucky ladies, ready for the grill. Just layer them on one at a time. And just work it. Turn every few minutes. I like to use this weight too because it presses firmly and ensures that everything cooks evenly. So you get a nice grill mark. And then you just turn, rotate, turn, and rotate. Make sure everything cooks the same. And once everything looks just like this, you're done. And you can pull them off the grill. And there you have it. Teriyaki beef, chicken, mesquite, pork, and olive oil herb marinade shish kebabs right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.